Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from Charlie. Any instructions to register this number as a private number to accept charge. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hey guys. Hi, did um, Dan get there yet or not yet? Yeah, I spoke to Dan. Okay. You're still you're still there, right? They haven't moved you yet. We'll come to see you. They haven't moved yet. They uh, I spoke to Sergeant and said he has a to see if he can be uh get me out to my other pod to get out of the room. So like I can't at least I could see out through the window before I had the window of my cell and there is just mere glass. There was nothing, nothing in that regard that Dan could help you with, right? You have to do that yourself in there. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna move me away for the happy appear not long enough for observation, I guess. Um, do they keep you 24 hours in there? Is that what they're doing? Oh yeah, you don't come out of yourself. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, do they have? Do you mean to stay there for twenty four hours in that cell before they would let you out, or no? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I've been in here since six o'clock last night. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Um, I just want to know. But it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be. I was done a tremendous amount of regret. I'm not sure if I've done this to a lot of things. I wouldn't, you know, I just. Hold on a second. Are you also coming? You are. Okay, Charlie just called me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, listen. Yeah, Dan, Dan is very nice. He's stayed with me a long time. I literally, from the time I hung up with you, probably within three or four minutes, I was up talking to him until just now. So I wanted to ask what he meant. Um, probably. Let me see what I got off with you before. Called at 844, we're on an hour, we're 844, yeah, we were on an hour and five minutes, so yeah, he came right after a month then, yeah. Right after you spoke to us, he's coming. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he filled you in on some things that were interesting, right? Possible? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's like, you gotta understand something, Mark. The amount of publicity that this case has got is worldwide. It's... It's the bloggers, it's the media, it's the, 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 wherever this case goes, it's going to have such a not even normal case. So it's just not. It's not going to get treated like a normal case. And uh, it's the judge pretty much wanted to get everything in the case that we wanted to get in. You know, it's not really... It's not really much, much to appeal for her, like, you know, and we should try just for the sake of trying, but from what I gather, like, you gotta, you gotta try because if you don't try, you don't know, right. and the appeal is with the judges, you know, but so there's judges that are going to be judging a judge, and he pretty much let us get everything in, like, he really wasn't, he didn't make any rulings that we're going to come back at, you know? Um, you know, so I think that was... It's appealed to judges. It doesn't, it doesn't get tried again. It doesn't get shown to a jury. It's just for the ju judges. And they don't hear the case. Yeah. They review what No. Happened. They review what happened. And if something was done improperly, you should get a new trial, technically. The... Not, 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 and listen, Dan wasn't sitting there telling me, like, this judge is fucked up here, he screwed up here, there's, I mean, it's like, you try just because, you gotta say you did everything you could. 
Right. But he told me not to, you know, he knows what these horses are, what the state says they are. So he's like, you don't want to uh, deplete the money that you have saved up for Roman on your appeals, you know, like, because you can only appeal by like, certain reasons to yeah. appeal. Yeah, I guess. So there's, there's only so much you can appeal. The big has to be got law to appeal. And uh, he said, hey, what you got to do is just to give it a shot. And they're going to look into the, the other couple little things. Right. That's that issue. Okay. You know, and then so the, the appeals can take a year and a half, around about a year and a half to be heard. Mm-hmm. Maybe two years. So... So he'll look, he'll look into other things and, and then we'll try, let's see what happens. He's looking at other things, but in the, in the meantime, I need to um, figure out what I'm doing with a couple things okay. and figure out what I'm doing with Buddy. Right. Uh, I'm going to call Mike Ferrari up and have to pick up the flash boat. Um, I just, I just wish I wasn't so in such a good mood on Sunday. It's been a whirlwind of emotion. Can't even just shock. We all felt the way you did on Sunday. That's What's that? I said we all felt the way you did on Sunday. We were all looking forward to Monday. Like. I just, I, I fully, I just, like I said, 50 times, I just wish I was with my gut instinct and it wasn't the fucking people. Because it was, this was not a, this was not a real case. This was, this was, you know, and Dan said to me, he said, listen, when we were doing jury selection, I realized, like, this is going to be, this was, this was, this was, this was going to be tough. Yeah. yeah. He said, when, when he saw the amount of people that were coming in with knowledge of the case and saying they couldn't be fair, he said, I had to trust that the people who were saying they had knowledge of the case and couldn't be fair or lying to me. You had no option. You had no option. I mean, you, you really, you shouldn't have a case when people know about the case that they're about to judge, but they already have an opinion. You know, like that guy Josh Dewan said, like, where in your brain are you going to put your your opinion that you just stated when you come in to deliberate? Like you just said, you have an opinion on this case. It was like a good question. He goes, you know, if you have an opinion on this case, tell me where in your brain so if you're going to put that opinion that it's not going to affect how do you can judge this man? And then some people would say, well, you know, to a good point. I, I don't think I can take that out of my brain. I think it will still be in there. I'll still be thinking about it while I'm delivering. Okay, well, you're off the jury. Yeah. But what about the person who comes in and goes, you know what? I can totally block it out. I can definitely Whatever preconceived notion I have from the judge, I can totally uh, listen to the judge's instructions, block out any preconceived notion I have, and uh, I treat this young man fairly. Okay, you're a liar, but you make it to the next one. Yeah. And then that's what we had. So he's like, I don't. I think I fully trust the people that we had that they were telling me the truth. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you, if you have a normal case that goes before the court, and, like, it's just a normal case where people show up for jury duty and they and they get sent to a courtroom and they get super jury selection and they hear, hear the prosecution and they hear, they hear the defense and they go ahead and they have a, an idea of what happened. Or reasonable doubt, that's 
like that's like how it's done. But this was like George Kaplan's whole career rested on taking me down. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Like her, her, her whole career. I mean, trust me, you don't think she knew on Friday that I held up well under cross? Yeah, she knew. There was a lot of talk. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of information. She knew that. A lot of, I mean, like, she didn't, everybody was saying, like, Marie was saying, like, all these people were talking that never were talking before, and they were like, they were really, like, going ahead, and, and, uh, and they were really changing sides, and holy shit, she, she went to work, and I'm sure she had a bunch of people helping her. And she fucking came out with the closing of her lifetime and made a movie. She did a two hour movie. Yeah. You know, she even, I mean, she even, you know, was able to manipulate stuff and be like, you even heard his own sister say this. You heard his own sister say that. Yeah, like, no, out of contact. You know, it's, it's, these things aren't set on an island. It's said as part of a conversation or a response or trying to prove a point or like you, you, you cut you cut and paste sentences. You can you can make anything look like something it's not. Yeah, that's right. That's what she did, and that's what she got away with. Well, she the last thing. That she has two hours. Of, you know, she was done with those two hours. I sat there and I, I remember looking at Kate and I go, this is not good. I don't know how you felt when you got done seeing her two hours, but I was like, I was like, this is not, not good. I wasn't so concerned with that after I heard Dan. I was just upset after she got the final word. That was that was the problem. Well, she basically anything that he was going to anything that he said in that first, uh, you know, in his in his rebuttal, anything she said, anything point he made, she just she just torpedoed. Her. You know? You know what she did. So I, it was, well, I hate to say it, but it's exactly, it's fucking exactly what I anticipated out there. It's, it, it's exactly what I anticipated. And even, and even worse, worse. I mean, look, I'm, I'm sitting in a, in a jail cell. Who has been incarcerated since 2008? Who's still banned from 20 feet away? And he's been in prison since 2008.
I remember how many times everyone would look at me and be like, what's wrong with him? Did that happen? Convicted. Unless you get a new trial. 
Even convicted. There's, there's no other way. That's when it like hell hit me. It's like, holy shit. That's what I don't think anybody realized when they were fucking giving you their advice. Yeah, I just gotta 
Dan said that if you're going to work on getting in some place where it could be in effective management, they may be in the facility. I don't want to be in closed custody where it's like, you know, they put you in a cell and you can come out for 20 minutes a day by yourself. No, like, oh, look. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. There's, a, there's actually prisons that have either areas or groups that are like general pop. But there are people that are, have to be protected. Right. So you're not getting with the whole yeah, the general population. Oh, yeah. No, I think I don't think they want to. They wouldn't want to have. They wouldn't want them to with the anyway. Clearly, that. The same, yeah. the same reason they didn't want to have a problem with you here. So no, they're not going to look for that. They know that. No, but they they can also they can also do the fact. I don't have someone get on it. And they can also do what they did to me here, or they put you in for five months of solitary. You know? Yeah. I mean, look at the bright side. At least hopefully I get someplace where I can get outside, I can get visitors. You know, I don't get outside, and I don't, I don't get visitors here. No. Uh, no, I know this. It's just very, it's just very surreal, all kind of hitting me, and it's like putting me in my box, and I'm right now it's not the best thing for mentally, taking advantage or something while I'm just relaxed. I know. It's not. It's just, it's gonna feel like a long day until I get you out of there. So. Yeah. Have, can you listen to something on your? Can you listen to any music? Or? I can listen to a little music, but it's uh, I just I can't. I can't get my mind to calm down. You don't understand. It's like a no, I do. Like a sheep to the hamster wheel. It's just like I know. If you, um, Dad could talk a little later if you, if you call back. You just can't talk. Okay. Is Dad sitting up now? Charlie, anytime, Charlie, anytime. You can call anytime. I'm just, just trying to get stuff arranged. Uh, no, I know you got to take care of a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, got to work, work on stuff. No, one thing to take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, I, I need you to be able to come and visit me. We will. We will, of course. No, we will. We will. We will. We will. We will. It's going to be, uh, listen, it's going to be you know, long. It'll probably be like maybe two and a half months from now. You know, probably by January. You know, it's something this week. Whenever it is. Whenever we find out, that's when we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted with everything. But I'm, I'm fine. I'm going to stay strong. I just need to, like, get... What, 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 do you have any idea when they're going to come today? No, you don't, no, no. You don't know. Um, no, I don't. And I'm going to do what I'm going to give Janice a call and talk to her for a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh, I know we got to figure out stuff in the house and all that stuff. There's a lot to do. Are you going to talk to her about the dog? Well, yeah, but I know she's going to talk to me about, like, what are we doing with the house? Yeah. I don't want to talk to the other one, but I have an idea of what we're doing with the house. We'll take care of it. But not immediately, there's just another thing to take care of. Yeah, no, 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 I mean, that's why it's like, why, because listen, until she's moving out of the house, practically, it doesn't need to be out with the dog. That's right. Uh, yeah. 
point, I think they got two choices. There's one of either to, to wrap it or sell it. You know, but you, that's entirely your call, what you want to do with it. Okay. Uh, and then the other place where there's 